Hi everybody! Well, I'm joined today by my little boy Ryder. Yeah. And we are so excited to teach you all about the Chrome Music Lab. Guys, this is a fantastic website uh, that Chrome oh, has put boy, together. I love this one. Oh boy. Okay, thanks, dude. Um, this is a fantastic website with um, tons of different music apps um, that can be used not just on a, a tablet. You can do this um, at home on a computer. It doesn't matter if you have a, a Mac or a PC, um, but uh, these are great little resources for kids to use and to play with at home. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these kind of quickly um, to give you a little glimpse and an introduction Don't at how each one works, okay? All right, Ryder, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, the first app... Is this one. That's right, it's called the Song Maker app. And this oh, app boy. is really cool because what you do is you push these squares to make different pitches and you can make um, harmonies by doing more than one pitch at a time. It also along the bottom two rows you can make drum sounds. So Ryder, why don't you make um, as many of these boxes, fill them in as you want. Okay? And I'm going to help. And then once you have it, all you got to do is press the play button. Yay. I like that. Do you like it? Yeah, let's go so slow. We can slow down the tempo. Oh, that's really slow. Or we can speed it up. Really fast. You can change the instruments, change the drum set. It's a really cool, really cool app. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the next app is called the Rhythm App. And this one's really neat because you have these monkeys, right? And the monkeys are playing different instruments. And so, um, tell you what, Ryder, why don't I do the first one and I'll let you do the second one. Okay, so I'm going to press these little circles, and each circle I hit is going to be a different instrument that the monkeys play. So let's do, let's listen to this one. Let's do some more. Pretty cool, right? Let's do some more. Let's do it all together. Well, let's go ahead and switch to our next set of, uh, well, these look like monsters, okay? Ryder wants to hear what it sounds like when we do all of them together. Let's do it, Ryder. Two more? Okay, here's what it sounds like all together. So there's plenty of other instruments and monsters you can do. Um, this is a really fun app. Probably, is this your favorite one, Ryder? Uh, no. Oh, okay. He has, a, he has a different one he likes more. I like the monkeys more. That was the, oh, you like the monkeys the best. Okay. Well, I, but we still can move on. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> okay, so our next app is called the Spectrogram app. And what this app does is it shows you um, what pitches would look like basically depending on how high or low or long or short they are. Now there's many different ways you can do it. You can start by doing your, uh, you wanna do your finger first? Okay, so put your finger on the screen or you could use your mouse. Whoa. That's too loud. Okay, you can talk into the microphone. Hi, I feel on story coming on. Then it goes ting. I powered up, I'm in space, I'm in the moon. Ah, now I live in the moon like a can drum on trance. A can drum, huh? Yeah. You can also play um, instruments like a flute. You can see what a flute would look like as okay. it plays scales. You could do a harp. Hey, Dodie, let's do go faster. That's beautiful. Okay, that's the Spectrogram app. The next app is called the Chords app. 
And what this one does is it shows what different major and minor chords sound like. Now remember, a chord is like if you play more than one note at a time. And usually chords have at least three notes, okay? Three notes! So Ryder, hit the piano and let's hear some major chords. Maybe a little slower. There you go. And now, let's hear some minor chords. Go ahead. Minor chord. Good job. Okay, moving on. Our next app is called the Soundwave app. And this one is really neat because it brings in some science. Basically, all these blue dots represent air molecules. And oh, when you, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, Press hold on. App. And when you play a note, it's going to show you how the air molecules will move to transfer that sound into your ear and into your brain. So writer, first, play, pick a note on the piano. And that shows you how the air would look. Now, if we zoom in, you can look at one air molecule and see how it moves. Now, a little science for you. The higher the pitch, the faster the air molecules are gonna move. And the lower pitch, the slower. And the fastest <laughs> way. All right, all right, all right. So that's the sound waves app. The next one is the arpeggio app. Remember earlier when I said that chords were usually three notes and they're usually played at the same time? Well, an arpeggio is when you play each of those notes separately and they sound really beautiful. Now, the black, the, the note that's black right Whoa. now is gonna be the note you hear, the arpeggio you hear. Go ahead, push play. Try again. So this is a C arpeggio. And there's a D minor, a C minor, an F sharp, an A. And what you can do is you can go around this wheel and make really beautiful music. Now the next app is the Kandinsky app. And um, this is an art app, which is really cool because you get to draw pictures and then the app is gonna assign sounds to your drawings. So for example, I might draw a face and some sticks to have a person. Or Ryder, why don't you add mouth. some things? A mouth. <laughs> why don't you draw some other things? Okay. Down. Some, some lines. Low. Good. Across. Across. Yep. Water. How about a flower? Tower. <laughs> Alright, now let's push play and see how it sounds. Okay. Let's... That's cool. Music is art. Let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. Our next one is a melody maker. Now the melody maker is a little different than the song maker because we're getting rid of the drum set and the ability to make harmony. Now we're just focusing on melodies. So in each column, you can put fill in one box. Fill another box. Fill in another box. Fill in another box. And then when you push play. Push let's, play. Let's push play. Oh, that's cool though. Listen to that. Really you can change your tempo. Really fast. Really slow, really fast. Let's stay where we Good job, Ryder. Melody Maker. That's a fun little app. Okay, now this next one is the Voice Spinner app. Now, this one is going to be really okay. neat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For um, the kids. Parents, you got to watch out for this one a little bit because, uh, yeah, this one can get to be a little much if you're not careful. But watch what happens when I record a sound. Actually, Ryder, why don't you record? Say, um, music is awesome. Ready? Music. Hold on, wait, wait. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Let's try again. Ready? Go. Music is awesome. Music is awesome. Here, try it again. It's a little hard to get started. Ready? Go. Music is awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Now watch how it sounds. 
So you can go forwards and backwards and record. Let's make it do go automatically. Daddy. Okay, let's do this one one more time. Ready? Hold on. Ready? All right, now let's listen. Ready? <laughs> you can go backwards. <laughs> so that's the voice spinner. All right, all right, all right. Our next one is called harmonics. And here you can actually see what harmonics sound like. So press each one. No, Daddy, they're not working. They're picky now. Mm. Yeah, this one's being a little picky, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not sure why the harmonics one isn't working right now, but you'll have to check out that one on your own. Okay, next up is the piano roll. The piano roll, I don't know if you've ever noticed or ever seen those old-time pianos, and they had paper rolls, almost like a music box. And as the rolls would spin, there were little holes cut into them that would produce the notes on a piano. Well, in this app, you get to see, and here, let's move on to a cool song like this. Watch what a piano roll would look like. Press play. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> Riders running to catch a butterfly. <laughs> Get it, Ryder! <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. Kids can get easily distracted. Ryder's out there running after uh, butterflies. Come back, Ryder! Come back! Come back! Anyways, while he comes back, the piano roll is really neat because you can, again, you can make it go forwards, you can make it go backwards. It's really interactive. You can play different songs. Some Beethoven. Ryder, we need you. Come back. We need you. Did you catch that butterfly? I couldn't. Couldn't get it? Too fast. Too fast for you, huh? Okay, well, hey, listen, we've only got one more app to do, and you're going to really like this one. I know. The, uh, the, the oscillator app. Yeah, if I can say it, the oscillator app. Okay, now this one is really funny because there's these monsters, and as you push your finger up and down, it, um, it changes the pitch. So here's a green monster. Okay. Now make it go up. So fast. Good. Let's do a different one. Go ahead. Here, a little gentler. You try. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. So friends, this is the Chrome Music Lab. It's a collection of fantastic um, music apps. And I, if you guys are anything like Ryder, you're gonna, you're gonna really enjoy this. So I have fun. Remember, it's musiclab.chromeexperiments.com. All right, that's all for us today. Thanks everybody. I want to play with it. Okay, bye.